All right, how are we doing? Good morning from rural northern Thailand. Right now we're in Song Town here in Pre province. And today we've got ourselves this bad boy. We've got the Honda Dream Beast. There we go, look at this. So our plan is we're gonna hit the road, do what we love most and see what we can find, see what's going on. But first I'm just gonna show you where we're staying, right? Because this hotel is really nice and the people are absolutely lovely. I mean, the other day they even picked us up from Den Chai train station which is like an hour away from here which you just so so kind in it so these are 600 baht a night as you can see we've got this little terrace area here which is nice, a nice place to stay. it's really peaceful you can just hear the cocks I love it so I'll just show you inside quickly now it's nice because of all the natural light you can see we've got a window on pretty much every wall which I love aircon bed you know me that's all you need but you've also got a telly a smart telly so you can watch the YouTube channel if you stay here as well and you've just got your little bathroom a bathroom is a bathroom for me it's a nice one as well it does the job so yeah check it out really nice it's just chilled out it's cozy right so I'll just also show you the garden area because it is really nice, it's chilled out, there's loads of spots to relax in, you know, if you do want to chill out. Now I will just say, I do recommend this place, especially if you are doing like a Northern Thailand road trip of any sort, because we're bang in the middle of all the provinces up here, we're in the middle of Nan, Payao, Pre, Lampang, so it's kind of like, you, if you're going anywhere, you're probably going to cross through here. So check this out, you can't deny it's a lovely place to stay. So there's our room, look at that. So as always, when I like somewhere, I'll throw it in the description. That's always what we do, we always like to support the businesses that we like, the smaller businesses. Right, oh, a couple more, couple. thank you so much. Right, talking about how nice the people here are. They just made us a um, cow mangai, the classic Thai chicken fat rice, look at this. That is so kind. So we've actually got a little breakfast now before we hit the road. It was quite good as well, look at that. Lovely that, isn't it? That's so nice, it's lovely. What a beautiful place to eat breakfast as well. I know. As you can hear, we've got my mate, the cocks, <laughs> crowing behind me. You can see the birds, it's, it's proper peaceful, like shaded under the trees. They just also brought us over some Canon Jeep, some little dumplings, look at this. So we'll try these quick. Oh, they're hot. Hot, poor hot. Really good, pork and shrimp, mm -hmm. delicious, but just so hot. Need to cool down. I can't eat hot food. Yeah. Eat spice deep. food. I can't <laughs> eat temperature hot food. Give it all, mate, for now. Here we go then. The Honda Dream Beast. This one's for you, Paddy, mate. Let's um, fire her up. See how she is. She looks like an old girl, doesn't she? Let's see. There we go, look at that. Drop a key. Oh. Oh, and the button start works. There's no kick starting having to go down. Right, there we go, look at this. You can't beat these bikes. They're old, but they just feel so nice to ride. Ready, Leash? Ready. Right, here we go. A little semi automatic. Let's go for it, let's do it. All right, there we go, we're off. On the beast, let's see what we can find. Let's see what's going on here in rural northern Thailand, Pre province. Let's go. Hey, up. Let's get a spot of brekkie. A second breakfast. Here we go. Let's put her down there. Right. Beautiful bike, that. Proper motorbike. You know what I mean? After riding an electric scooter in Taiwan, because we were forced to, I can't appreciate her enough. She's beautiful. She makes noise, she feels proper. Right. Now, what sort of a northern Thailand road trip would it be without some cow soy? So that's what we've come for here. So I did have. Ah, me cow soy. Oh. Gin pet die, 
มาเป็นไรครับ Right, here we go. It smells fantastic in here. You can smell, believe it or not, cow soy. Very, very strong smells. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. So there's the menu. 40 baht, 50 baht a bowl. We'll see what they've got. Me, I like a guy, new. Yeah. Oh, no. What do you fancy? I like a lot of this food. Okay. Classic chicken. It's seasoned pasta. Yes, good. Okay. Normal. Extra. Okay. Are you hungry? Julie's got a bowl. What kind of bowl of chicken? Okay. Ah, one toy, guy, one toy. Okay, thank you very much. So we'll get a bowl of each. We've got it, haven't we? We've got to get what they've got. One chicken, one pork. Never had a pork cow soy before. And we've never had a northern, well, in the north. We've had in Lampang. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Not for a long time. Do you want to do it? 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 Just take a quick look. Cow soy. Oh, cow soy. Wow, hello, Anna. Oh, it looks very, very good. Look at that. Wow, cup on cup. Right, I'm gonna sit down and wait now because they're definitely thinking it were these loonies who've come in here. So obsessed. I know, I've just watched to stir the broth and the smells. Right, I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh. I've just come to have another nausea. I've just come to watch you do this. This is like the best bit where she's gonna pour the broth over. So that's the pork. Okay. Go pork. Cup. And then there's the chicken. Oh, it smells fantastic, Hom. Smell good, no? Smell very good. Yeah. Pour pasta and get gang mac. Right. There's the pork leash. Oh, it looks so good. And then the chicken's just coming here, right? Beautiful bowl. Couple of Oh, wow, that looks good. And then all our sides, okay. Couple of cap. Right, there we go. So these are your 40 baht bowls of cow soy. I've got the chicken, Leisha's got the pork, and that is a generous serving, isn't it? And then we've got all our sides. So let's just throw them on quick. We've got the lime, we've got the shallot, the pickled mustard green, in the go. Let's get the lime in as well. Oh, I've just dropped my lime flipping egg. There we go. And then we'll throw some chili in after we've tasted it. That is a juicy lime. And there's coriander in there as well. Oh, it looks incredible. It's such a beautiful bowl. And then on the table, we've also got some chili to throw in after we've tasted it. Let's just try that broth out, let's try the broth. If I can get to it underneath here. There you go, you saw it, it looks so nice. Right, cheers. Oh, it's so hot. I don't think I have any taste was left for the rest of the day. And it's like, we've like, I think we've got the first bowl of the day. Oh, I've literally just drank boiling soup. Did it taste good? I don't know. <laughs> Let's try that broth again. Give my bloody taste was a minute to recover. Oh, and it's really good. It's really rich. But it's not that spicy, so we're gonna do it. Gonna throw some of the goods in. Look at that. Not gonna throw that much in, bloody hell. I'll be on the toilet for the rest of the day. Put some in though. A nice spoonful. And then we'll mix that in. Then we'll give it a taste there. These are the best bit of the cow, so the crunchy noobs on top. I've mixed all that chili through now, and it is looking good. Now cow soy, an absolute like classic Thai dish, northern Thai dish. It's a dish that everyone knows, and I'll be honest, it's one of the dishes that like started our love for Thai food. We used to eat it back in the UK. As every Thai restaurant in England just sells has cow soy on the menu, so it's like it's one of those dishes that um, that we started on. 
So let's try the chicken. Really good. So you've got the noodles, the crunchy noodles, the veggie throw in. I like it when they throw the chicken leg in. The full chicken leg. And yeah, now it's nice and spicy. How's the pork one leash? It's really good. Pork's really tender. It's just, really, it's just delicious. It's, it's a classic, good. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like you said, it's just like you can eat it whenever and it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay, a couple of markup. Betsy bat. Okay, so 40 bat each ball. That is really good value because that was a big portion with full. It was so delicious. Hello, in Mag. Okay. Where are you from? Madag, Angit. Oh, England. Oh. Okay. So far. Oh, yeah, so far. And how, how long have you stayed? This time in Thailand, um, Sam Sip Oh, okay. so we're on. Matteo, just travel, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Chop the inner cup. Okay. Of course you can, yeah, yeah. We'll take a picture, let's put this down. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Fantastic little spot that. 40 baht, can't go wrong. Who's this you've got over in a lot? Who are you, mate? You do not look very healthy. He's a mess. Oh, we up, clamp. Shoe off. Right, back on the dream. Let's go. There she is. Go on, baby. Wow, look at the views. Bloody lovely. We've pretty much seen about three cars since we set off. It's just, as always, when you get out of the cities in Thailand, the roads are dead, and especially when you're heading off to where we usually are in these small towns. There's just always you on the road, and the roads, as you can see, are always pristine, like the best roads ever. There's nowhere better for a bike trip in Thailand. Nowhere. Shit in hell. Leave me alone, everyone. Leave me alone. Oh, there's a puppy there, though. Oh, there's loads there. Oh. Oh, there's like eight puppies. Look how many dogs are behind us. I get so scared for some reason. Driving past big packs of dogs. They're just protecting the farmland, though, aren't they? So we're in. A national park area now, I think. We don't really know. I don't know what we've come across. I don't know what this road is we're going down, but it's dog road. There's just dog holes <gasps> everywhere. Be nice! Pack it in! Shut up! But then look at all them. Oh my god! There's about 20 puppies there, literally. There's so many. Are they following us? I've never seen that many puppies. About, about 20, weren't there? Oh, what? So funny. What's going on? Have we found the bloody illegal dog meat trade of Thailand? Is that what's going on around here? Because there's nothing else going on. Look. But what is funny is we're in the middle of nowhere. Police just said they filled the, they filled the potholes in. In England, they don't even fill the potholes in on the main road that we drive down. You hit the same pothole for five years straight, and it won't get filled in. All right, everyone, as you can see by that little sign there, we're now in May Yom National Park. Now, sadly, there's actually a dual pricing to enter here. I think it's 100 baht for foreigners and 20 baht for Thais. And you know me, I don't really like that, but we somehow did it again. Somehow, um, I won't tell you the details, but we're in here. <laughs> there we go. We um, did a bit of wheeling and dealing. So it's another two kilometers. To, I don't know what. We, we don't really know what's here. We've just come on a whim and we're just going to find out. We're going to discover what's down here. There's nobody around. We're like the only people out. We've not seen anyone in so long. So here we go. All right, people, we're here. 
let's stick back here and check it out. Driving in, it looks flipping well nice. Wait until I show you the views we've got here. I've spotted one for you. I can't go a day without finding one of these. Please off. Enging. Classic. What is that picture showing? Bloody hell, if your engine's like that, the car needs to be gone, doesn't it? Alright, so this is Keng Sua Ten, and I'll be honest, we're pretty much in the absolute sticks. We're in the middle of nowhere. There is no phone service around here. We're like in the jungle. We've got a river cutting through the valley. I'm going to show you. It's actually really beautiful. Places to chill out. It's like classic Thai national park. You know, you've got accommodations, you can camp. And it's just like pure bliss nature, proper stuff. You can go for a swim in there if you wanted to. So yeah, it's really green. It's lovely. I think we'll just chill out here for a bit. Look at this. Right, I've brought you down to the actual river. We've got a little bridge going across. I just want to show you how nice it is here because it is genuinely a lovely spot. Look at this. will not mind going for a swim in there, I bet it's nice and refreshing. But we've got a story for you, story time. Now they actually have proposed to build a dam in this area. And I don't know how they've done it, but the local communities have managed to fight them off. And um, it's not happened yet, which um, I respect a lot. T takes, um, I respect them a lot because we've seen the mess that these dams make. We've been to Lao, it's a mess. Like the, It's always the, the rich, the people in power making these decisions that just screw us normal people. They're not just the normal people of the world and destroy these beautiful places. Like those poor sods, if they build a dam, the livelihoods are gone, the villages are gonna be flooded. The agriculture's a mess, the food's gone, it's just a, it's just a massive mess, I can't stand it. So there's my rant, let's get back to more of a positive, how nice is it? It's just a lovely place, just to come and relax. It's just like pure nature, this is, we're in the middle of nowhere, it's just proper like, jungle. So yeah, really nice little place, not a bad little stop. We'll head back up to the bike and I don't know where we're going to go. But it's going to be fun, it always is. It's the best way. Best thing to do, just um, jump on bike and explore. Because you do never know what you're going to come across in these rural places, small towns like... Who wants to, um, who wants to go to the same place everyone's been a million times and take the same picture everyone's taken a million times? or to follow a guy book, whatever. Let's have an adventure. Come on. Thailand, land of adventure. There's so many places. The country's massive. And everyone only goes to the same four places. It drives me mad. Well, it doesn't drive me mad, really, because it means these places, there's no one here and we can enjoy them. <laughs> so I shouldn't be complaining. But you get what I'm trying to say. I don't know why people don't explore. Oh, you lucky buggers today, I got another one for you. Danger, no shrimming allowed. What's this mean? Let me know what do you think it means. <laughs> we just got chatting to all the workers up there. They were just um, having a bit of a chill in the shade. They, they, they work so hard in the sun. And then they're just telling us they're building these like paths all around this national park area. And I saw this viewpoint and I had to show you. Look at how nice it is. It's so peaceful. It's beautiful. It'd be so nice to stay in here, me and Leisha were just saying, imagine just waking up, there's no noise, just the, um, the wildlife and this little river. That would be bliss. That'd be so nice. So you can do that in all the Thai national parks. Usually you can camp. And usually have places you can stay as well. So there we go. Now we're going to jump back on the bike and head off to God knows where. We'll find out, eh? Look at this, what's my helmet say? One best. The one best beast. Do I suit it? Let's get it on. Do I suit it? What do you reckon? Trendy. Looking good. Let's get yours on. 
Mine's the bowling ball special. Bowling ball special. <laughs> Yours is the horse riding. They're too hot for this weather. But you should put a little cap on for the sun. Yeah, that, that's the thing, you see. It's so hot. Every time we do a motorbike trip in town, we burn. And today, I'll show you my hand at the end of the day. I guarantee you my hand will be burnt where I've been holding the, um, the grips. Jog me in a cab. Right, and we're off again. There we go. It's a lot cooler when you're riding the bike though, so I'm grateful. Now we get to um, ride through the shaded national park, so there we go. Roads are beautiful. We just spotted an ice cream man. We're trying to hunt him down. He's a mobile one. We thought he was going to come to us, but he's gone down into this little street, so we're trying to find him. Is he going to be in here? Let's see. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's going to the village. We're going to have to find him. Unbelievable, he's got away from us. We've just been driving around this little village. He's gone. No ice cream for us today. That's sad. That is really sad, but... He's one of them mobile men, so... All right, everyone, we just pulled off because I'm absolutely starving. And we've got a coffee shop. So we're gonna have a nice coffee in a minute, but first, we're grabbing some food. I'm gonna get a dry noodle, dry beef noodle. And I'm gonna show you the view in a second. At least you're just on water duty. Yeah, we need hydration. It's so hot today. I know, it? yeah. So we've got some ice water. The DIY station, you do everything yourself. This is Thai style. And then we can eat over here. Look at this. Now it is a bit brown today, right? Hear me out. But if you come and the rice is there growing, it's going to be like super bright green in it. Like rice fields are so beautiful. Still a lovely view. So we'll sit here and have some um, noodles, refuel, have some coffee, and then we'll head on again. Nice, this, isn't it? Oh, cop and cap. There we go. Cop and cap. Okay. Right. Got our food. I'll just show you this super quick. We've got a little soup with a couple of meatballs in there. And then we've got our dry noodle. So I've got senlac, rice noodles. And then let me just get some chopsticks for other. So down here we've got our spoon and chopstick. The wooden chopsticks. Oh! That was a fail, wasn't it? Oh, it's not easy in Life 100. So in here, we've just got some nice chunks of beef, the noodles, and some bits and bobs. Let's give it a mix up and season it up. There we go, look at that. Missing something though, innit? Ta-da! Chilli. So get a nice spoon of this in there. We'll see how we go with that. Should be good. Can have a bit of a little dry noodle. Mix it up and give it a taste. Looks quite good to be fair. And even if the food was shit, when you're sitting with a view like this, it's alright. Even if it, this was an average bowl of noodles, I won't be too pissed off. Let's give this a try then. Look at that. I'm just gonna get a nice piece of beef straight up. And just try the noodles. See what we've got going on. It's all right. I'll be honest. It isn't the greatest bowl of noodles I've had. I would say it's far from it, but they're all right. We've got a view. We're happy. It's peaceful. I can't complain, can I? Got water, I'm about to get a coffee. I'm on a motorbike trip on a Honda Dream here in Thailand. Life's pretty good. So the noodles are alright, but let's try this broth. Let's try the broth as well then, go on. Actually pretty good. That's actually quite good. Noodles are alright. It was alright. This is pretty good. Oh my God. 
สี่สิบโอเคขอบคุณครับโอเคกูไป40บาท so it's alright now we're gonna head next door and hopefully this is gonna have aircon so we can have like 10 minutes of just ice cold before we face this weather again because it's so flipping hot I am like all I ever do in Thailand is burn because I'm crap at putting sun cream on I just am what do you have? what do you have? Okay, here we go. Check this out. I've got my favourite. My all time number one order, the Gaffe Somme. Because when you're in Thailand, you have to drink this stuff, so it's just espresso, orange juice. Like orange juice Americano. And believe me, it's so good. Like, you want a coffee, you want a refreshing fruit juice, this is what you want. So let's try it for you. I can get this flipping lid off. Come on, mate. Oi. Need to mix it up though. Get the orange juice and the coffee mixed in. Proper orange as well. When it's done with proper orange, you can see it's bits floating around in there and whatnot. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. It makes me happy. It's always so good. Coffee and orange juice, like, two of the best things in life. Yeah. What are you all, Leash? It's a very, very dark roast coffee. Well, at least got dark roast, I got medium roast. Yeah. It's good though. Tell us some words of wisdom for this sunny afternoon. Someone's stealing our bag. No, it's not. Prank. So this afternoon, I just want everyone to think about things that you think Ooh. are a very big deal. On. And it'll pass. Even if you might think it's the end of the world. You're not. off. You're off, Gandhi. It's not, because it will just pass. And it's shit at the time, but... It You're will off. Pass. 80 it were for them two coffees. It's alright. So, back into the sun we go. Off into the wind. Come on, baby. Alright, off we go then. Back to the street. You don't want to be stuck under that one, do you? Bloody hell. Check that out for a tempo. We were just driving past and we could not pass up on the offer to check it out. It's absolutely beautiful. The whole thing is pretty much gold. Apart from this white beast here, look at this. Wow. And it's covered in these bells that you can hear blowing in the wind, like wind charms. It's nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. And if you look at the front of the temple, like there's so much detail. There's a snake. Yeah, it's really, a really intricate. And elephant. Thai temples are great. They're always super unique. Like you might think they're all the same, but then when you actually go and have a look, they're not. Wow. Really cool. Yeah, when you see, you just can't not pull over. So you have. Lovely spot. I need, I need what soy mag, soy mag. Really beautiful. Soy mag. <laughs> Let's hide in the shade. Let's admire from the shade here. Oh well, well, well. Leash has found the temple dogs. Hello. So what do you have? Oh, you're cute, isn't you? Bloody hell, you're a nice one. Look at you. Hey, hey. You want to say hello to the camera? Tail. Very cute, isn't you? Look at that. And then you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? This dog, this dog's really friendly actually, like, so much. Hello. Say hello you want to say hello as well? What do you have? Oh, you've only got one eye. Oh, no, oh, like that though, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that dog's well. Should we steal it? Should we put it in the bike basket oh, and take it cute. away? I know you're cute, aren't you? Really hell, are you? Playful. Cat as well. What a nice temple. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, here's Auntie again. Oh, Job Mag. <laughs> Narag. <laughs> Narag. <laughs> okay, chuck the in a cup. 
Bloody hell. Right, let's get a move on. We'll be here all day with this dog. Oh, we could take you. What should we call you? Because I, I think you're quite cute. Quite funny, aren't you? He's a rad little eh? character, isn't he? Eh? Oh. Cute. I like Mr. One Eye. It's not really bad play. <laughs> now we're talking on the proper country roads, the proper rural, quiet roads. Look at this. Got all the buffalo down there. Some babies as well. Now this is Thailand, this is what you want to be seeing, this is the proper stuff. Look at that for a view. Buffalo in the rice fields and just the green jungle mountains. I will say something, the sky isn't super clear now. We've always found in rainy season, the sky's been the clearest and then in the dry season, it's always a bit hazy. I guess it's because the farmers are all slashing and burning the crops getting ready you can see all the fields are burnt which just messes up the um, air quality to be honest but it is what it is so yeah but if you could see if those mountains are crystal clear imagine still lovely though but we're oh, oh, always complaining about summer aren't we so yeah i'm a rainy season advocate come in rainy season it's super green everywhere is really quiet the views are proper clear it might rain here and there, but it doesn't kill you, it's only rain. We all survive. I mean, you might get five days of rain in a row as well, but it's the chances you take. Nice little town, this. Village. Buddy cab. Selling bananas. Selling food on the left here. There's people just selling stuff everywhere. Literally, any road in Thailand, you're going to find someone selling something. He's got some meatless buddy cab. He's got um, meat sticks, little village temple, look at that. Yeah, in Thailand, all the temples are beautiful, even in the smallest, most random village ever. There'll, there'll still be a lovely decorated temple like that. They really uh, look after the temples. I mean, it's a Buddhist country, so they should. So yeah, this is it, rural Thailand. There isn't much going on, you've got to love it for what it is. You've got to have a sense of adventure to enjoy this side of Thailand. Look at the cockerels now. Look at this one as well. We're literally just driving through country back roads, passing these little temples, look at that. We've got a big golden Buddha. Actually looks like the Buddha from Pisanulok in Wat Yai, which we've been to on this channel. And it's just so nice. Look at that, we wouldn't expect that to be just here, bang in the middle of the countryside. See, it's just farmland. Everyone's keeping bees at the side of the road. Everyone we drive past is really, actually quite friendly. Yeah, this is like proper province life, there's um, not much going on. Oh, should we get a drink? So I do have, let's get a drink in this shop actually, let's pull it. This is absolutely fucking boiling. Oh, sorry, cap. Oh, nah, my. Oh, Lon Mac. So hot, so hot. <sighs> Need something ice cold, don't we? Oh, Lon Mac, Mac. Angit. Oh, it was so hot. Just get an ice cold water, eh? Now I'm told I have. Sip bad. Turn back for a bottle of water. Everything's a shop. That's a little countryside oh. shop. You got it? Just trying to find a 10 bat bat of room skin in my pocket. Okay. Oh. oh cup and cup. Down. 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 We are going looking for the what? Um, Wapuche. This way. You're Tina, down here. We've just seen a temple in the far distance. And we're going to go and check it out. Song. In, we say song, song. 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 Stay in Song Town. 
I need this thirst though, a bottle of water just hits right, doesn't it? So you can see it's just like <laughs> oppressingly hot. Look at the sky. Wow. Right, let's get back on her. We're not giving her a name yet. Maybe let's not. We'll just call her the beautiful Dream My beautiful Dream XS. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Cup and cap, Chuck Dean, a cap. Off we go again. <laughs> right. To the temple. We were just saying, Leash was saying, this is what we um, enjoy the most, just riding through little countryside towns and just chatting to like the old people. Because <laughs> everyone's so nice. You can see where we're heading there. There's like a huge golden butter. That's where we're going. I know, look at this house. Wow. I mean, it really is in the middle of nowhere. I know, but it's nice. Yeah, I'd live there. It's beautiful. And the people are just like looking at us like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, look at this. Proper country roads. Look, we've got my mate, the cop. There he goes, into his house. A few of them in there. Oh, that guy's actually raising them. I just saw he must have them all for fighting. He's got, he's got the big nets over them. The, 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 like the baskets. So yeah, here we go. Oh, bloody hell, mate. You... That was a rabbit. Wants his life to be taken from him, doesn't it? Hey, up, look at this. We're at one of the most famous tourist attractions in all Thailand, as you can see. Look how busy it is. We're battling crowds of people here. Right, look where we are. It's flipping well now. So we've got this huge golden Buddha. And we're going to go up here because I think there might be a mountain view behind. There's a big monastery over there. Just had a chat with all the monks. He said, we asked if we can have a look around. They said, yeah, just, just have a look. So we're just doing a bit of investigating. This is just typically us, isn't it? In the middle of nowhere. Wait until you see where we are. We're literally <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> those, those monks were looking at us like... They were just a bit like, yeah, yeah, what, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing? So hopefully no one will pinch the bike. I don't think anyone's going to pinch the bike. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. What, what percent chance do we have of that getting stolen? It's really beautiful. Look at this. All the pigeons have reclaimed it. Right, so we've got a bit of a view. You can see the mountains in the distance. You know, there's just mountain ranges everywhere here in Northern Thailand. And it's the most peaceful place ever. There's just nothing. Pretty nice. So yeah, get this on your list. The Golden Buddha. No, but it's just, you've got to, Love it, aren't you? Just just riding around the back roads because you know you never know what you're gonna find, who you're gonna meet. It's exciting. You ne you never know what's gonna happen. Sure. Which for me is a lot better than just going to just just going somewhere. You know exactly what you're gonna be doing. Shade, yeah. Let's get some shade. So yeah, there's another temple over there. We'll have a look at that. Because when we drove in, we saw it. And it was like diamond. It was like glittering in the. We'll go and look at that. What a place to live though, here, eh? The, the monks in the monastery. It's so peaceful. Oh, it's nice. There he is. So I don't know who this is. I'm guessing it's a well-known monk from this area or who did something around here. If you know, let me know. Always interesting when people let us know because obviously we're not experts, never claim to be. I don't go over and Google everything. We're just just exploring on our own. So yeah, let us know if you ever can teach us something. Look We're here to learn. Oh, well, that's a nice tree, isn't it? It's like on its own, it's just that like big. Perfectly, perfectly across from the, yeah. the monk. Isn't that cool? Wow, good observation. Leash's words of wisdom isn't striking it, again. Nice tree, yeah, that's a nice tree. If there ever was a tree competition, a tree pageant, that tree would be definitely top three. It'd win. It'd win. Maybe it would win. It's an nice tree, that. Check it out. They've got a little lake area right by the monastery. What 
a little interesting place there. Eh? Look at that. Nice setting. So peaceful. Now this is a first. I don't think we've ever come across this in Thailand yet. Going across a temple that seems to be fully abandoned. We're going to have a look. But it's not looking too great. I'll just show you this view quick. Of where we've just been. Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it, that? Nice view. So we'll just investigate. Everything, look, it's like it's been left to the pigeons. I can hear them inside. It's a shame because it's actually really nice, especially the building on the left, which we'll look at in a second. Let's just see what's going on here, look. You see, it's all kind of broken. But we'll investigate. Hopefully I don't get pooed on by the birds. Well, they say that's lucky, don't they? So maybe, um, let's hope I do get pooed on. I've been pooed on quite a lot in Thailand. So it's shut, but we can still take a look. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anybody around at all. And the doors are closed here. We just had a peek inside and it is actually really beautiful. But we're not going to win because there's no one here. I thought I just want to barge in. Let's check this out. What's going on over here? Because this looks abandoned. It's really beautiful. It just looks like it's been left. Left for dead. The building's something over there, though. A big building. Look, you've got the workmen. Look at the wall of the temple. Like when you drive past in the distance, it's just all shining. It's like silver. We'll have a quick look. Strange, isn't it? I guess maybe there's just nobody living around here, but usually even in the, the most random places, the temples like, are so well looked after in Thailand. Now this one's open. Wow. Let's go upstairs. Let's, let's see, is, is upstairs open as well? Let's see. Let's investigate this temple, but you can see, yeah, it's been like reclaimed by nature. We've got leaves growing out everywhere, plants and bird poo everywhere. All I can hear is the cooing of pigeons and it's open. Oh gosh. What's happened here? There's just poo everywhere. Oh wow. Oh, I've never seen anything like this. Um, so I've probably got a 95% chance of getting pooed on, but... Oh, it smells really bad in here as well. There's just poo everywhere, pigeon poo. You can see them all going mad. But what's happened, it's almost like they half built this place. You can see we have got the gold Buddha. But there's just, there's just poo everywhere. It stinks. But this, this would have been a beautiful temple, wouldn't it? Oh gosh. Hello, my friends. So what do you have? What do you have? Not here to bother you. We're off now. Oh gosh. Doing a bit of action up there, aren't they? It stinks in there. It's a pigeon toilet. Oh, what a shame. Because I think this was like a really cool, massive complex. It's huge, you know. Is it? Interesting stuff there, eh? I've never seen. A temple like that in Thailand is completely left for the pigeons. I don't know what happened. If you know what happened here, you're from this area, let us know. Did they start to build it and then they didn't have enough money? Or well, there's not enough people around here, I don't know. But like I said, usually, like even in the sticks, that you find the most incredible temples. So I don't know. It's a shame though, that. Because that actually is a really nice building. And that with that view, that's like... And yeah, it's a lovely place. It's really so I don't know what's going on. And these are, there are people here. Right, let's carry on on the bike. What can we find next? I don't know what we're going to find next. You're going to find out, we're going to find out. Should be alright. Right next to the temple complex, there are a few houses. So we're just going to ride down here. Sorry, cab. Hello. And see what's going on. Just a few kids knocking around. Sorry, cab. <laughs> just seems like a little village, yeah, really quiet village. Sorry, cab. Hello. 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 Yeah, just a tiny, tiny village. What have we got here? I might grab another drink while we're here. Eh? Oh, 
Yeah, go on, there's like a little um, soda stand there. We'll get one of these. Let me just pull in one sec. Stick it in here. Oh, it's always hard parking one hand, I'll tell you that. Kids are going mad. Alright, let's see what they've got here. Maybe just get a, um, a syrup drink because they're always really good when it's hot. Whew. What do they have? Oh, Mami saw that. Do they not have? I have no idea what we're getting here, we've just kind of pointed and hoped. I think we're getting some type of shaved ice dessert maybe instead of a drink, I don't know. But instead of Hale's Blue Boy we've got, oh, sorry everyone, we've got Candy Boy. Which is like, is it like a cheaper version of the real deal? So I think we're going to get the blue one, which I don't know what that is. It's going to be good though, isn't it? It's going to be sweet. We're just like a million kids here, it's like the whole village just appeared. As we appeared and just kind of followed us into the shop. How like that? Sip bat. Okay, ten bat. What have we got, Lee? She looks good. Oh, okay. Just ten bat for that. Looks really good. So it's like shaved ice, the syrup, and condensed milk. Okay. Cop and cap. Oh, long mag, long mag. That's why we need this. Cool us down. It's so hot. It's a million degrees. Oh, it's like Does it taste like diabetes? <laughs> yeah, it does. Looks like it, doesn't it? Your tongue blew instantly. Tastes really good though. Yeah. I love a shaved ice with syrup, condensed milk. It's, that's me. That's what I love. Yeah. Ten baht's a good price, isn't it? Yeah. Crazy. Look, everyone's in here. Everyone's Sorry, Cab. <laughs> Let's um, devour this. Let's um, refresh it. That was really good, that. Okay, chuck me in a cup. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay. Off we go. Back out of the village. <laughs> Everyone's really nice to you. Like, you can even go to the most remote place ever in town, and everyone, especially the kids, are really respectful. Nobody ever asks you for money. Anywhere we go, anywhere, like, we go to some other countries, a lot, most of the countries in Southeast Asia. The kids are little shitbags. In Thailand, they're all really respectful. I'm going to say it as it is. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Lag on. Right, off we go. Oh, there's loads of little chicks running down the road down there. There's loads of them. Right, what a little spot. Let's go, though. Hottest part of the day now, this is like it's sweltering. Here we go. You can see how much of like a one street village this is, though. It's just it's quite legendary, really. So, everyone's doing the washing, hanging it up, side of the house, a little shop we've just gone past. Even in a place like this, though, like you can get anything you need when you pass through, genuinely. People are always happy to help if you need anything. Another thing I have to say is really is you've really got to appreciate how honest people are in town, they're honest, hardworking people, at least where we travel to anyway, like you can just always rely on people to just give you an honest price and they see you a foreigner, they just treat you the same, they don't mug you off like um, a lot of places. So it's just lovely to travel in Thailand, especially in these smaller places, because people don't give you an hard time. Everyone's helpful and kind and welcoming. So yeah, just a moment of appreciation there. Because like that lady, she didn't have to say 10 baht. If it was like any other Southeast Asian country, she might have said like 100 baht or something, just because we're foreigners. So yeah, never ever get price gouged. So big up. Tony Cab. Oh, kids are out on the sunset swim. So we found a little path going down by this little river. We're just gonna check it out. We're just literally, we just spent the day cruising these back streets, just soaking in the village life. Just got chatting to a guy, wish I had my camera on me. We were just saying, sabai, sabai. Um, nothing here, but we love it. So I guy just like, yeah, chill, chill. Not dangerous, just take it easy. This is really nice because 
you might be able to see on the camera there's loads of lotus flowers in this little river so we're going to just keep going all the way to the end the long way around yeah look at that that's a nice view isn't it mountains in the background and the river there's loads of lotus flowers you might be able to see them all pink nice though lovely that isn't it Side streets going on. We'll just keep going, eh? So we're on our way to head to a spot to watch the sunset, but I've just pulled over here on the side of the road. I'm just gonna show you what we're working with right now because the sun is going down. The sky behind us as we're riding is just like orange, and you can see all those mountains, all these rice fields, it's well nice. We've got a bloke here doing a bit of farming himself. Sorry, Cab. Oh, he's got a massive grin on his face. Yeah, I just wanted to show you. Look at that. It's going to be a nice sunset. The sunset's up here, really nice. Like proper orange and like red. Really colourful. Yeah, we're just riding down the big road. But there's mountains everywhere. Look, everywhere you look. Like where we're we going, right? Let's carry on, let's go. And they're going home. Oh mate, it's there on his little tractor. He's, I can see his bloody smile from here. <laughs> go on. He wanted to give me a wave, but he was occupied. Right, let's go. Why oh, he's driving though? He's doing one mile an hour on the motorway. Look at that. What the hell, speed up, mate. All right, everyone, this looks like our turning. We've screwed plan A off. We're just freestyling because we've just seen the sun setting, so it's over the rice fields. We're going to get unobstructed view hopefully I don't know where this road goes look at that view already I know it's nice so you can see here actually they've burnt this field ready to go like I was saying earlier some of them are still green somewhere like this depending on when you come it's going to change let's try and get a good um, view here oh here we go the proper country roads again That's it, the sun's about to go behind the mountains. But we'll just loiter around in the rice fields and watch the sky change colour and get eaten alive by these bugs, man. It's horrible driving at dusk, you just get bugs sitting in your face, in your eyes. Oh, not a bad view. So here we are, right in the fields here look we've got people coming and going going on from work after a long day working out here in the sun there's just loads of birds flying about the sky's going proper pink orange red the mountains have just silhouetted it's lovely it's not a bad spot in the countryside to be fair to chill out the sunset around here everywhere is just beautiful Really nice, isn't it, Leash? Buddy cab. Really nice. It's like in the middle of nowhere, literally, it's well nice. Nothing but rice fields and mountains and scary dogs. Yeah, lots of dogs. <laughs> so we'll leave this one here. We'll head back to Song Town and then get some food and call it a day. That's the plan. I just heard a cow. Right, Where's that from? Help. It's like a. A barn over there. I can see them all. There's lots of cows. Them. Where? Oh yeah, there's a cow, a cow barn, yeah. Right. Nice view though, innit? Let's go. Nice drive as well, it's so nice driving through these roads because there's just no one here. And you are just through the fields of Matt, it's well nice. Right, let's go. So we've come back to the home and our hosts have got us loads of food. We've got a little spread. So thank you so much, Noi and some yeah. This is really kind. So we've got some Sai Ua, Sai Grog, which looks really good. This is from Song Town. And then we've got some buffalo meat. And what is this again? I need to like that. Um, chili please. Chili okay. Like a chili dip. 
And then we've got a soup as well over here. And we've got some beers. The Changs. Yeah. <laughs> the vegetables are growing in the garden here. Oh, so everything's yeah. proper like homegrown organic. Delicious. Yeah. Thank you, Papa. So, Papa yeah. Very great. Oh, this should be delicious. I'll just try the sausage quicker. Because the sausage looks really good. Sausage. Northern Thai sausage is always really good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like Mac, that's very good. The sausage is very good. Take up. Very good. Cheers. 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 The family here is so lovely. They've really, really looked after us. I'm super grateful. So we're going to try this buffalo meat. I think it's just steamed. Well, it feels quite interesting. So we dip in here. Okay, let's get some of that as well. Eh? Mm, let's try. Cheers. Well, that's really good. The buffalo meat's really good. Yeah, I know. It's it tastes delicious. like um, jerky. It's like dried out. Oh, and the aloe. It's very good, yeah. That's really good. Mm. Buffalo meat is always really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is well, we're proper grateful. Put the camera in, eat. Right, we're going to go to bed now, but I'm just going to end this video with a massive thanks to the family of the hotel we're staying in because they've really looked after us while we've been here. We're really grateful. You know, they've let us use the bike, the bloody beautiful Honda Dream. They've made us all this amazing food. They've even given us a full coil of sightwear to take with us on the train. They've picked us up and they're going to drop us off at the train station, which is like an hour away. Really good, kind people. Thank you so much. And yeah, today was class. You can't have a bad day exploring rural Thailand by bike, a small town Thailand, we love it. It's impossible to have a bad day, there's too much to explore, food to eat, people to meet, it's well good. It's never a bad day. So yeah, so anyway, good night, I'm gonna get back in here.